It may appear to be just an ordinary house in Samunya, South Africa, but this house is different. Not only because of the materials it is built with, but because within its walls lies the story of people who have made the decision to change their lives. Simunya sits within a beautiful valley. The reality of daily life, however, is not nearly so idyllic. The lack of proper housing and a high level of unemployment, especially among young people, are two of the most pressing problems. Many families still live in townships, in makeshift shacks, constructed from corrugated iron that line filthy streets. It is hard to live without working. Nobody is helping me. My little boy cannot go to school. Community leader Tara Sturman has been active for many years trying to improve the basic quality of life. If we are busy to come up with some projects to build their house and everything, those people, uh, they will never lose their hopes. He is motivated by the message in Simunya's name, which means we are one. If Thabo Mbeki came here, I would have asked him to build me a home. I live in a house that is not for human beings. Anyway specializes in bringing solutions to infrastructure and earth building projects throughout Africa. Anyway CEO Zevik Halber identified a special opportunity to create a development plan that married the technological know-how of his company with the needs of communities. The vision of the plan is to give local populations the uh, opportunity and the accessibility to better life. But not doing it for them, let them do it for themselves. And it's not only I have a vision, it's not that at all. It is something practical that will come with a plan, a cost, participation of local population, and the best, best thing that will happen is that thousands of people will earn jobs. Anyway, in collaboration with the government of the province of Gauteng and the leadership of Simunye, set out to demonstrate that the people of the local community could help themselves and each other through their own efforts. You have to use your weight and force and your passion to do the block. The first phase of the plan began in December 2006 with technology transfer and training in the block making process. Anyway sent the equipment to the site and members of Anyway's technical team trained the first local working group. Five weeks later, construction began. When I close my eyes and I try to imagine a project that we do, a plan or a place that really makes this happen, I see hundreds of people working. I close my eyes and I see people doing the roads, people doing the houses, people making the bricks. And all of them working in, might sound a little bit uh, funny, in a, in a harmony that really creates something different. News of the project traveled quickly and many residents of the area came in search of not only a job, but a means by which they could earn a living. I dance today because I am starting to work. My children will have food on the table. No more poverty in my home. Like her friends, Namo Kawana found a job under the supervision of Tara Sturman, who was managing the road building activities on site. We must look beyond the circumstances. If we want to help those people, we must be brought in mind. The people of Simunye were caught up in the vision of Anyway. At the request of Anyway, Satprem, head of the Oroville Earth Institute of India, came to supervise the construction and to share his wealth of experience and knowledge with the local community. His attention to details and devotion touched everyone. We need to work with the local population as the houses cannot all be identical. We need to give people the option to design their own house. The environmental and social advantage of building with stabilized earth is obvious. Earth blocks are cheaper than concrete bricks. The manufacturing of concrete bricks involves a lot of energy. 
while making earth blocks requires very little and also generates work for the local population. The echoes of the project were heard in near-western area and in distant Pretoria, and officials came to visit. Some of them, they feel very much uh, sorry that, you know, the project currently cannot uh, accommodate all of them, of course, but also uh, their commitment and passion to this development will actually contribute towards this project, you know, growing so that, you know, a, a number of them can be employed. This is no longer the story of Simunye or the plan of a company called Anyway. It has become a venture with a global influence. We take a block of stabilized earth and we throw it into a pond. And as many circles there will be created, this is the influence that we will be able to bring. Poverty is not natural. It is man-made and can be overcome by the actions of human beings. The work on the first house and road is now over. The approximate 4,000 houses that will soon follow, together with the infrastructure and roads that will support them, can now be built by and for the community of Simunye. Soon, other communities will benefit from Anyway's development plan. One house, one road, mark the beginning of a long journey. Only the beginning.